this year marks the last year for the current generation of Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger. And to celebrate that, Dodge has launched seven special last call editions of its Chargers and Challengers. We're here with the Dodge Charger Super B. This is based on the RT Scat Pack, and it's an extra package that costs right around $5,500. And in addition to all of the Scat Pack stuff underneath, it gets a variety of exterior updates. It gets the unique grill with the Super B badge. It has a hood with functional hood scoop and air vent extractors. It's got some hood pins on top. And coming around the side, it has 20 inch wheels with a set of Nexen drag radial tires for extra grip. And that goes along with the quote drag mode suspension. You get Super B badges on the side and coming all the way to the back, you also see some of the special Super B graphics. This is one of the standard body ones in B5 blue and comes with blue stripes, but there are also wide body versions that come with wider 18 inch wheels. And those come in plum crazy purple with white graphics. Also has black badges at the back and a black spoiler and blackout exhaust. And this exhaust sounds fantastic. <laughs> But that's enough of looking at the outside. Let's hop inside and see some of the Super B's special touches of the interior. The Super B gets a few special touches inside. It comes with leather and Alcantara bucket seats that are thick and cushy. It's got big bolsters, but they are a a little bit on the soft side, so not as supportive as they could be, but they're still very comfy. In the back, the Super B logo is very nicely embroidered for everyone to see. And of course you get a Super B badge on the dashboard. Now, this particular model is equipped with an additional option package, which adds carbon fiber trim on the dash and a suede headliner. Otherwise, things in here are pretty standard issue, but there are some neat features in the infotainment system. So the Super B also comes with SRT's track pages, and that lets you do all kinds of stuff to change your transmission, shift patterns, how the steering feels, how the suspension is set up, how the engine reacts, things like that. It also has these nifty race options. And what that lets you do is you can turn on line lock, which will allow you to lock up the front wheels so that you can do a burnout and heat up your tires before taking off at the drag strip. And it has launch control. And that launch control is adjustable. So you can change at what RPM you want it to launch at so that you can really dial in your starts at the drag strip so you can be as fast as possible. Of course, one of the perks of a charger is the fact that you've got back seats in your muscle car. And these are actually quite comfy back seats. They're really squishy and soft. Uh, good leg room, not amazing. It's, I mean, this is an old platform, but yeah, I'm actually quite comfortable back here. Headroom's a little tight, but otherwise I could really relax. Not only is there plenty of space in the cabin for people, there's plenty of space in this trunk for stuff. And to get inside, just press the little button on the trunk lid. Being a full-size sedan, it has an enormous trunk. You could stuff all kinds of things in here for you and your friends or your family. Various special exterior parts, a comfy interior, and a spacious trunk are all nice things about the Charger. But that's not the main reason you buy one. The main reason you buy one is for what's under the hood. This has a particularly special hood. It's got functional air scoop and heat extractor vents. And this one has a set of hood pins. Hood pins, of course, being kind of a retro throwback, but also a safety feature to help keep the hood down in case like this latches fail or anything like that. And to open it up, we've got it already popped. So we pull the pins on either side and then release the safety catch like normal. And that's where you'll find, just like other RT scat packs, the 6.4 liter naturally aspirated V8. It makes 485 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque, and it's backed by an eight-speed automatic transmission. Something else you'll find under here, because this is the final model year of the Charger and the Challenger, is a special plaque right near the hood catch. And this plaque signifies that this is a last call 
last year Dodge Charger, and it notes that it was designed in Auburn Hills, Michigan, and built in Ontario, Canada. And that's the 2023 Dodge Charger Super B. This is one of the last Chargers and Challengers of this generation. They're wrapping up production this year. So if you want one new, you need to get one this year. And we're definitely gonna miss these. We'd like to know what you guys think about these cars and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until then, we'll see you next time.